On behalf of Allison and me, I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight for what I'm sure will be a terrific evening. It's already been a great day. I will never forget the first words I heard after Caroline was born. It's a girl. So as all parents here know, when you leave the hospital with your first child, it's a surreal experience. You don't actually believe you're really a parent. We are on our own. And our first weekend as a family of three was difficult. It began with a Friday night where Caroline didn't sleep much. It's been Allison didn't sleep much. So as the sun rose Saturday, and after Allison got Caroline fed and bathed and all bundled up, she extended her arms to me as if she were handing me a nuclear football. And she said, you've got to figure this out. I've got to get some sleep. So as she went to the bedroom, I walked to the front of our apartment. It was the first time we were together alone. I pushed the ottoman away with my right foot. I sat down. I crossed my right foot over my left. I put Caroline in the middle. She fit perfectly. I said six words out loud so I'd never forget the moment. Caroline, do you remember what I said? I said, I will never forget this moment, and I never have. And now, in the blink of an eye, she's this beautiful bride with this amazing husband. Thank you for raising such an amazing son. If Allison and I had endeavored to inventory everything we might hope for in a son-in-law, Anna would check every box. But more importantly, he'd create a half a page of things we hadn't even considered. I think anyone in this room knows that if you're down or if you need someone to talk to, Ben's the guy that brings you back up. He's the guy I call when I'm having a bad day. He's the guy that if I'm if something's complicated, he figures it out for me. He truly is the ultimate cheerleader, and I appreciate you so much for that. The time that I've spent with them both, uh, it did not take long for me to see the impact she was having on Ben. He was clearly excited to spend time with her every chance that he could get. exactly what you're thinking right now. You're thinking what I was thinking 30 years ago. I've got to be the luckiest guy in the world tonight. Guess what? You're right. Hi, Ben. Take you, Caroline. Take you, Caroline. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. 
I, Caroline. I, Caroline. Take you, Ben. Take you, Ben. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. And it is my pleasure to introduce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Caroline Bannon. You may kiss your bride. special to me about my friendship with Caroline is that our memories span everything from playing dress up together when we were little, to being on an eighth grade cheerleading team together, to high school and college graduations, school dances, trips around the world together, our first boyfriends and our last. <laughs> and along the way she's been the absolute rock of a friend for the entire time that she is today. So I just can't believe we're here on her wedding day. took things slowly, but from the beginning, it was clear to us that they totally got each other. It was very evident from the beginning that the qualities and traits that Caroline possesses are mirrored in Ben, and together they make the ultimate power duo. I think if I look at my life and my courtship with Caroline, the, the, single, the single most um, important factor of my courtship was patience with Caroline. Seeing her and Jim walk down the aisle, I, I, I was a, at a complete loss for words. And as I thought about it, I just thought, this has been the ultimate payoff of what patience does in someone's life. So Caroline, I'm speaking directly to you. I love you so much. And I'm so happy that we were patient with each other and we got here to this moment. So cheers to everybody. Thank you for being here. Deeds, sweets. I know I've told you this hundreds of times, but I've never not believed it to be true. Mom and I only got one daughter, because after God sent you, I knew he couldn't do better.